Worried about your online safety in the wake of the Heartbleed bug? I'm security expert Nick Douglas, here with a few tips. First, always use a secure password. Our research indicates the most secure password is 7NLK, capital A, pound sign, 3. Ideally, everyone should be using that. You can make a secure password using details from your personal life. Mine is below. That one's secure because Chloe is my ex and only I know that. Don't visit suspicious looking sites. If you accidentally do, contact your ISP and ask them to delete your history. Never click a link in an email or on a web page. Instead, copy and paste it into the address bar. When paying credit card bills online, do not enter your credit card number. Use only cash. Avoid using your computer through the same internet connection every time. As much as possible, join an open Wi-Fi network so that you're anonymized among the other users. Keep your security software updated. Anytime a site offers you a new antivirus, use it. Keep your email address safe from spammers by forwarding all your mail through a second address. Make this email address hard to remember. Ideally, it should be the same as your password. Supplement your password with two-factor authentication, where your bank or email service sends a message to your mobile phone. To keep this method secure, do not take your phone out of the house. Don't answer security questions like, what was your mother's maiden name? Because this information is easy to obtain. Instead, answer with your social security number. When you erase data, make sure it's truly deleted by moving it to an external hard drive and throwing that into the trash. Do not break up the hard drive into little pieces and flush it down the toilet, as those can be recovered. If you have children in your household, only allow them to visit certified safe sites. These will have a lock icon in the address bar or a web certificate on display at your ISP's local office. Disable Bluetooth on all your devices. Recent documents uncovered by Edward Snowden reveal that the NSA invented Bluetooth as a way to spy on Americans. If you think your computer has been compromised in any way, turn it off, remove the battery, and take it to an Apple Genius Bar. There's an off-menu option there to fix a computer of any type thanks to a partnership between Apple and Dell. If you have any other computer security questions, ask them in the comments and I will answer. There are the Special Olympics and the Paralympics, and there are the Olympics for people who are really good, and we make the in-between, the normal Olympics.